Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out. Yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost Hey guys, welcome back to the C&J Show, and I have my favorite Jenny Juice here Now I'm Mrs. Nink, and we hope that you guys are having a good day today uh, Let's get on with this topic Okay Really quick, I, I just want to express myself. I'm like, we have a special guest here with us today in spirit, Grams Youngin. Erica, Hannah, Irma, Montana, and Finesco. Macaroni and cheese. I just want to thank you for sharing your, your side of the story. We have been waiting. And I'm, 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 I don't know what to do. So, I don't know, I'm getting choked up here. Okay, everybody bow your heads. If we could just have one moment of silence for Grant. Okay, that's it. Now, look, let's get to this topic. Okay, what I want to do is let's just take this thing one step at a time. And like I always say, if I'm speaking on grounds and Lily, I may, you know, shoot a little joke here and there. Everybody do. But I always let it be known that I like the both of them. So, you know, I am i don't pick a side. That being said, and I want you guys for one second so that that way it can make sense to you that you put yourself in every situation that she said and let's see how it plays out for us and if you have done it. Okay. First thing is this, I feel like what took Graham so long to come out and just basically say, you know, what happened, her side or whatever, is because I really do feel that she had high hopes of them getting back together she did not know that this time would be the last time or that this time it ain't gonna happen as quickly and fast at all and I say that because I know from experience and it's a facts when you still want someone and you guys have been together for so long you what comes with the relationship is the family, the person's family, holidays, and all the rest of the stuff. So that person's family become like your family. And you do not want to talk about them in a way where you have your family hating them. And not wanting them around. I've learned not to share certain things because it I just it just turned bad. Now, like I said, put yourself in that situation to see if you would have waited. Because you know if you put too much of things out. It probably was going to be the end anyways. So, that's that. Now, let's go to this letter. This, this, this letter that, you know. I can say for myself from experience that first off, you know when you're in middle school, you got your little crushes and all that other stuff. And you just got your diary and 
some days you ain't got nothing in their diary, but you're still just writing stuff. When a grown woman, me, I went to the dollar store. I have got me a spiral. And for whatever reason, it, it is so strange. It's almost like them blue ink pens is extinct like dinosaurs or so i mean i i have i do i can never find a freaking blue ink pen it's always the black one oh it's that's kind of weird okay but anyways if a woman if she's not like if that's not in her this is not her just writing this is something that she loves to do if that chick write something down in that spiral it's because they know i can't communicate with them or it's you know everything is coming to an end so you begin to write things down because now you're fed up and you can go back and look on each page and say to yourself you know what well, God damn it. Monday at 7 o'clock. She ain't say nothing. Tuesday, we didn't say nothing. The whole month of, you know, this, we didn't do anything. You start writing these things down. And if you even feel like the person could be cheating or, or whatever it could be, you do start writing things down. Personally for yourself, because... You don't want to make, you don't want to accuse somebody of something. Nor do you want to leave this person. So you do that. I've done it plenty and many of times. Okay, next. The mental. I feel like with that, I don't, maybe, maybe, maybe. To, to ground, um, Lily probably got a mental issue because she gets upset and do whatever. But I can recall Graham saying when it was, you know, at the other house, when they was together, that she was going through so much. And mentally she was breaking down. And, hey, Lily was there. And I also recall Lily um, trying to cheer up, cheer her up and invited the, the family after we had not been seeing Graham's side of the family to that little cabin that they always go to. Now, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't know why Graham said that, but I'm going to say this. I know for a fact when I was in my 20s, you... you it was a second before it just just a second. I will be all over you. Now, now that I'm in my thirties, it takes maybe three minutes. Three minutes. I I I don't get upset as quick. So to say that someone is mental, have a mental, you know, issue because of the way, I guess if you've been and did something to them. And you get really pissed off and shoot you end up hitting them, which is not good. It's not. But I, I don't know. Some people don't do that. Some people do. I know I have. But skip on with that because we're going to the uh, little yellow brick road with this one. Okay, so now the next thing. Picture this. You know, for yourself, your neighbors, your family members. People you see, other YouTubers, when you see them, nothing, like, you don't think, oh, I just know, I know easy pen for everything. I know with the Mrs. Johnson and Johnson and, you know, I think it's mom culture or something now, they changed their name. I, I know red is pen for everything. I just know that. I know with the outsiders, it's the same thing. You don't look at that. We know that 
the man supposed to be the provider and make more money, the breadwinner. And we know that the stud's supposed to be the same way. But how be ever, we also know that sometimes that don't go that way. But you don't go looking into somebody's relationship and saying, I could tell, I could tell they don't do nothing. I could tell they not, they, I, I, I just can tell that. So my thing is this with that. I was trying to see, why was it? I seen, in the scene this video, and Grams was, you know, when they was together at the recent house. I knew that they was having problems. I think some other people knew that they was having problems. And, you know, it was some days Lily wouldn't even do, you know, put a wig on. Grams dyeing her hair uh, silver and gold and it's coming out and she looks stressed and it looked like she's trying to figure out what she should be doing before Lily um, tell her, uh, okay, you probably need to go or, or something or make her feel a way. And you can kind of see that though. So my thing is this, I don't think cheating, being honest, Nobody leaves because you cheat. You just don't do that. You love that person a lot. You love them. You're going to take them back because you want to believe that they're going to change. And you, you know, hey, we used to love each other. So I believe this. Now, after all of that stuff is said and done. How do... You be in a relationship and you have a competition with each other. Or you guys don't see the come up together. Different things go on. There's no way nobody should have ever been able to visually say. I could tell Lily is the one that's making all the money. But for whatever reason... Lily was the one that seems like the light was shining. And Grams was just in the back. I don't know how that worked, but I sure seen it. Now, I know something like that could really hurt. And it will make you feel a certain type of a way because you're looking at it like, well, dang, it, what can I do to catch up to this girl? Or I don't want to be sitting up here. She's basically saying this is her, hers. If it wasn't for her, we probably wouldn't have been here and all this other kind of stuff. And then you get get mad. And then now we got to bring up, oh, yeah, you so ugly and all this other kind of stuff. And, you know, Graham's get ready to leave. And they get upset. Well, if it wasn't for me, you know, you wouldn't be in this house. So, hey, say what you want. Then if she get the keys to the car, uh-uh, uh-uh. And by the way, drop them keys in that kitchen on that counter because you ain't going to work because who, 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 who was paying for it? Me. I, I'm, I'm, it was my help. Put them keys right on that kitchen counter. Do it immediately because you sure ain't going to work. And I could see that. So the problem is, is this, that I feel with them, as a female, we, when we love, we can love hard, and we break up, it's a battle, because you'll break up even harder and put that much of attention and emotion into that, because you feel like you negate the person and everything. So, all of this stuff is going on. Grams is feeling this way. Lily's feeling a certain way. But, for a, a woman, we like to play the game revenge. Oh, I'm going to get you back. That's the thing. 
Oh, I'm finna get you back. Now, I don't care if it takes me 20 years. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna, you know, get a little butt or stomach, whatever the case may be. I'm finna do that. And then once I get, once I get really fine, fine or straight, adios amigos. I ain't finna sit up and be taking your crap. And so it, it it's something that some women do. It, I just feel like that's what happened. In the beginning, maybe they went through their little stuff and Rams was doing whatever. But I do feel like maybe at one point she, you know, tried and did whatever. But then it's too late because now it seems like Lily couldn't have seen you. Some days, or or she just seemed like, oh my God, I just hate this girl. I really do. But you will feel that way when you're playing. I got to get you back. So it does not matter if the person choose to start changing now, because they didn't change when you wanted them to change. They didn't change when you was you knew you was a million percent happy with them. Y'all good you wanted to work. They didn't change then. They still was doing the same stupid, dumb crap that they love to do. So why is is it's like okay, no. Now the day you're ready to commit and start doing stuff, but now I'm dull to you. I don't care where you go. Nothing affects me, whatever you could be saying you're doing. I don't even gotta give me the brush in your head like I used to. Because I just don't care. You can't make me jealous. You can't do nothing. I don't care. Those feelings went out the door. So, yes, I'm now treating you like this. So, now, the revenge part for Graham's going to be, okay, I'm going to go elsewhere. This is just what I'm going to do. That's the way you're feeling. I'm going to go elsewhere. And now, it's it. And I have no clue why. R. Kelly case, Ted Bundy, Jim Jones, September the 11th, labor, Christmas, holidays. I have no clue how Lily and Graham's breakup have been a series, have been a holiday, have been so much, like it's so much invested. I didn't see Kevin Hart and his wife break up. This person, Will Smith and Jada broke up, but they got back together. Kanye West and freaking Kim. Ain't nobody don't even remember that no more. Nobody is talking about it. But for whatever reason, somebody is keeping this alive. And it's like, wow, they just so regular, just regular YouTubers. Like, geez, I can name about 10 couples that then broke up on YouTube. And it got, look at Chrissy and, 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 and what, Demo, Demo, whoever it is. Okay, look at them. It That was like, what, two weeks worth of... You know, everybody seeing stuff. Now, it was over. This has been going on almost a year that everybody have invested in this relationship. It's like, it is a series. And I really do feel Tyler Perry is going to be calling them and calling some people. Because this, it, it, it don't make no sense to me. But anyways, that's my thoughts with it. Leave your, your comments down below and just say what you feel. Because, you know, I don't think cheating broke them. What broke them was financially in a, dis in a discipline. And then one person feeling like you're not bringing in as much. Which that always puzzled me because I'm trying to figure out, like, hey, you know what? I I know the bulk of you guys' income got to come from the channel that you built together. That's the channel 
they got the more subscribers and all that stuff. You guys build that together. So I'm trying to figure out how is it that people look at it and say it's still Lily. Like grams don't exist in the finances. Like I, I just don't understand that. Something don't really sometimes be adding up. But happy ever. We gonna end this. Cause the next thing on B, me speaking on B, since you know she just also made a video. <laughs>